hey everyone welcome back to Sekiro playthrough part 6 so to brief off yesterday we managed to take down lady butterfly and now we are right outside Sempo temple and we are going to proceed <coughs> but before that just give me a second to set up the stream right sounds good so um yeah i think we did talk to the poster boy right there and looks like all we need to do is just head outside right so Head outside we have an NPC and an item right over here some scrap items and here is the NPC we can talk to <laughs> they left me here. hey Albert welcome Where did thanks for joining in Why did you leave Kotaro behind? Now what do I do? Ask why he's crying. Why are you crying? Everyone's gone. I'm all alone. Who's everyone? Everyone? Huh? Who? The spinning, spinning red and white flowers. Only one. Pure white flower. A pure white flower. I cannot find. What? My head hurts. Sorry. I have no idea what I'm saying. I just I've got to find the pure white flower. Don't worry, I'll find that for you. But for now, I think I need to go a little bit down. There's an enemy right there. kill him and there should be some items right over here amiibo spirit and kachin sugar it's good that we are getting those since we wasted a lot of them but let's take care of you so albert how is your playthrough going for mortal combat i know you absolutely love that game and seems like that's all the item on that side just want to make sure not missing any though seems like no we are good to go there should be an item up top though just want to check up real quick didn't make that jump unfortunately but now we can <coughs> and here is the item some more gachin sugar extremely valuable for us right now ok so this part we have to stealth through The monks are very, very terrifying. <laughs> Especially the spear wielding ones. But if I can just take care of them using stealth. There's one more remaining right here. And so far so good. There should be an item up there which I definitely want to grab. Light coin purses. Where's the spirit one? Uh, spear one. 
this is the one with the spear there are two actually want to take care of you and if I can just grab the attention of okay some more are aggroed that's bad oh no 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 do want to take care of you you are almost dead that's good oh no no That was good. Another one down. Now we have one more spear spear wielding and one normal enemy. Hopefully he won't be a problem. If I can just take him down. Yep. <sighs> well We've managed to survive. That's good. That's what counts. And this path should be cleared now. So might as well start collecting some loot. Amiibo balloon right there. Should be some more enemies coming down this way. Yep, right here. Take care of you. Okay. You are <laughs> dangerous. Ah, but we survived this onslaught as well. Wow. Lucky me. Just two more remaining. I do want to take care of the spirit guy, uh, spear guy once first. And this one should be easy. Now I think all the enemies are down. So let me just head back down and start collecting all the items that I can. Free goodies. This one right here, some pellets, actually we could have used some, we only got one though, so yeah I think I'll be okay getting some more death blows later on. Get this item, Ako sugar. And should be some more items right around here three items down there which I did see <coughs> might as well grab them now light coin antidote powder and another one that's fantastic okay so I think uh, this is the only item remaining festival of ashes and just want to make a quick tour I've collected this one yep all's in the bag so now that we have taken care of that area we can head up here couple of insects good for farming up your spirit emblems in case you lose any and is that all there's one more right here and I do hear another one but since they don't attack it's not very uh, it's not very concerning right now I 
but I do wanna sneak up to get the dead blow on this enemy and for this part I think I'm going to equip my blood smoke ninjutsu since it is quite quite helpful might as well take care of you and you now it's time for some good old stealth kill this one blood smoke kill this one and fail the blood smoke but all of them are down right so now just need to lose the aggro from the big guy hopefully won't see me is he coming this way he is coming this way right but he is losing interest seems like yep he lost interest okay that was close don't wanna be seen take care of you and we are back to full health that was fantastic lump of fat wax another upgrade material right there uh, we have some coin purses I believe ceramic shards and cocaine sugar that's not bad at all take care of you and this is the only guy that is remaining but he is an immortal so we currently cannot kill him even though we get the death blow pick up the goat seed and just get out of there here's another item Mebu uh, spirit balloons and talk to this NPC So we need to give this NPC some rice to get some hints. From the divine child. Right. <coughs> right, so this point we cannot do anything. But there are some guys I would like to sneak up to and one is right here oh no messing up my jumps <laughs> but we can take you down so far so good we have another aqua sugar so these guys are good for farming aqua sugar another ungo sugar right here and we missed that but we can definitely go up the tree to collect some free spirit emblems and there should be one item up up here yep here it is light coin purse so we will get on top of this branch later on since we have to get a special kind of ninjutsu to cross the gap and get over to that platform that ledge but for now all we can do is jump right over there okay he <laughs> missed that up 
and this part is a bit hard so what I wanna do here is use an akush uh, use a gachin sugar to get some stealth and be as fast as I can to take out this one take out this guy and this guy and now we need to run back get over here and get a death blow on this guy these are the more dangerous enemies of this area of this game I would say since oh man these guys are trouble we got our gachin sugar back while we have the stealth on I would also like to take care of you and you that was perfect wow that went so good all right so a couple of items that i can collect right over here there should be some spirit emblems and antidote powder right so seems like that's all the items there are and i don't remember any more items yep so no more items i do wanna check up on top of the building though since there are usually some items in top of these pagodas pagodas excuse me okay well i'll just do this and seems like this area is completed now so yep let's just head over this way and there's our next crap oh okay well miss that but our next grapple point is right over there some more spirit emblems don't need to heal up since we are really close to uh, an idol which is right around here I do want to activate this rest up now there is a merchant right over this way okay don't Ledge hang, but get this item ceramic shards. Head to purchase an offering. Another one. And you'll find the departed. You'll find the memorial mob. There'll be none to mourn you. Should you forget the Buddha, go ahead. Buy an offering. It's pretty cool that every single one of these mobs, even though they have the same initial dialogues, their second dialogue depends on what area you are in so a couple of important items that we can buy from this guy we have five color rice a code with five color rice used by shinobi as landmarks so basically our uh, marking spots we have akos and ungo sugar definitely want to buy up the dragon blood droplet persimmon i I may as well buy them since I have a lot of coins at this point. Buy all the upgrade materials for sure. And I think I'll just buy all the heavy and light coin purses. Couple more items that we can grab. So I'll just buy some more aqua sugar. Should be good. Right, so actually do you have any more no you don't have any more um, upgrade materials i think it is time we return back to the dilapidated temple 
and level up my prosthetic arm to get some extra damage actually make the combat cooler <laughs> extra damage is just a bonus how much I only need 30 points well I may as well just keep heading this way to ca take care of some more enemies make things easier and if I remember this should be some enemies up there so what I wanna do is up I screwed up I think actually no I didn't so yeah I need to go over this way there's an enemy that would drop down and we can get a stealth death on you get another one on you there's an item that we can grab another gachin sugar fantastic another stealth death blow on this one and one enemy who is hanging by the ledge we can get a ledge death blow and that went so smoothly right so I don't think actually there was some spirit emblems right around that corner but I don't think there are any items so might as well just keep moving so the next boss oh, okay took some unfortunate damage right there but we are safe Oh, what is going on? <laughs> wow. Right, so... Don't fall off now. <laughs> right, so this is the way we can proceed to get the next boss. But I do want to go over to that ledge. And that jump is a bit tricky. So what I want to do is get over here and aim towards the balcony the hanging ledge get a heavy coin purse and this one is easy just go and grab here's a spot we can climb another ledge that we can grab and this is the way to go back but this way we can proceed but I want to head this way alright some geckos nothing concerning a couple of jumps and here is the pinwheel that the big guy was looking for white pinwheel a small pinwheel made of white paper found below a cliff at mount Kugo, congo perhaps it was carried there by the wind it is simply a single pure white pinwheel only the child is right there right i I'm not sure what all right it seems this is actually referring to the divine child yeah I think this is referring to the second divine child that we are about to meet shortly that's interesting but for now we just need to head over this way a couple more geckos we need to deal with and all should be good this is ju just a shortcut to get up faster here are actually just one more deco gecko 
and that should be it so now we can just open this door and here is another idol but before I dressed there are some items that I want to grab which are right over here I think there is no item this way but inside here we have another monkey booze alcohol created by dew pooled in the inner hollow tree fruits hidden by monkeys in tree hollows can sometimes ferment and turn into sake with a bit of luck while it's known for its brutally harsh flavor some find this acquired taste irresistible and another heavy coin purse just good this is another area where we can go and fight a disgusting boss <laughs> i absolutely hate that boss but more importantly this is the bell which we use to get the bell demon curse which basically makes the enemies harder but they do drop a lot of um What is this? A descending carp latency deflection increases posture also. So yeah, I think I'll get this one first. And next I would actually want to get this one. The ascending carp. I absolutely don't want well maybe I'll give it a try but later on I don't think I want that now for now we can just head this way back to where we came from and take down one more boss and I think I should be okay getting down safely just to ensure we don't take any fall damage oh no I'm okay well well that's that's bad well <sighs> I thought I would be able to grab that grapple point and this took quite a while to load in okay another field wow <laughs> I think what I need to do is basically get a jumping start and I screwed up wow Whew. okay well we'll have to try that once again <laughs> Well, now that we have died and we have 17 coins only so it should not be a concern I'll just wait for uh, wait till I take down the next boss and get some more coins then we can go ahead and level up my skills my prosthetic tools okay don't want to deal with you and where's the grapple point I want to see that actually oh okay wow I'm just sucking at this Whew. why am I not grabbing that grapple point wow this is definitely not going good okay right wow <laughs> that was just too bad <sighs> well let's see what else we can do
take care of you and I can just get a jumping death blow take care of you and you well now let's try to make that jump and hopefully I make it yep I made it now we can proceed to the boss a couple of grapples and there's another item that we can pick right here and this one is the red and white pinwheel so a small pinwheel made of red and white paper found about halfway up Mount Congo the red and white pinwheels simply spin round and round everyone is right here so we have two pinwheels that we can give to Kotaro one for his good ending and one for his bad ending but I'm gonna give him the one with the bad ending since well you'll see later but for now we have to deal with the boss which is an absolutely fantastic boss by the way okay that's good unfortunately it took some damage oh no Whew. all right well let's give that another shot He's still not close to the... Uh, oh no, that failed miserably. I don't want to heal up. My posture back. Oh no, that that was also not good. Uh, I need to get his attention over here somewhere. This looks good. Okay, well, get some more hits. Let's push him. And he is still <laughs> not going down. Wow. Usually this does not happen. But well. Maybe this one. I want a position right here I think. And wow. <laughs> I'm just making it a lot harder. Get a Mikiri. And this should be it. Whew, finally. And that was him falling down. <laughs> okay, well, we have another prayer bead. And we have Breath of Nature Shadow, a latent skill that recovers posture, performing a successful death blow, which is absolutely wonderful. Right, but for now, we just need to head out. And here's an item Scrap Magnetite. And here is an idol. I'll rest up. And. I guess I have a couple of NPCs that I can interact with now so first I'll go to the dilapidated temple get some prosthetic upgrade and then I should have 
uh, one more two more NPCs that I need to talk to so let's move in I also want to give Emma the goat seed that I collected let's see I can give him one monkey bus so let's do that I brought something for you monkey boos is it oh, it burns the throat same as ever this really brings back memories did you drink this often I trained in the techniques of the shinobi in the valley where the monkeys dwell by yourself no there were two of us we were rogue shinobi there was no proper master for the likes of us that's why we went to the valley to run to jump, to clash swords. But one slip would mean your doom. That was how we trained. We came to move exactly as monkeys did after a time. I drink this monkey booze whenever I tired of training. And I listen to the howl of my partner's whistling finger while I drink. How? It was from his unique ring. Whistling through that ring would fill the valley with a somber melody. Strangely enough, I enjoyed that sound. I listened to it so often. This would come in handy later on. So, if you are still not sure, the second warrior that he trained with is actually Ishin Ashina, and we will get an item which is the whistling. Um, the whistle he is actually referring to and we can talk to him about it later on but for now um yeah i don't need this i need to upgrade my prosthetic tools so let's see i don't have any information on that i wonder what this is well maybe we'll have to check that later on but i do want the improved sabi maru first and foremost and i also want the uh, loaded magnet umbrella right so for this i need 600 for this i need 600 so 1200 should do Twelve hundred. So I need to use two light coin purses, and um, yeah, this should cover it. So Sabi Maru, first of all, get the. What do I need for you? lot of materials actually get the <laughs> loaded umbrella I can also get the no I cannot get the spear I will eventually get the mist raven but not now Onikage flame vent what do I need for you pine resin ember so this actually comes later on but for this i just need yellow gunpowder which i think i can farm later on but that should be enough let's see can we hey, buy anything left. from you hey friend if you go into ash they've got all that time right so no new dialogue and I think I don't need anything yet from you. Dragon spread doublet, all the useful I do wanna save up just in case since the later bosses are a nightmare. But I can travel to Upper Kuro's room and give the goats here to Emma.
so I can get an eavesdrop I think right over here maybe yes I can he's sleeping right now and he's dreaming right now I can give you a couple of drinks. So yeah, let's do that. Here, for you. Oh my, if this isn't Lord Ishin's favorite sake, I'll have some. Well, it is not a joke, but I don't want to spoil anything in case yeah. you have not paid oh, it. This is <laughs> this is monkey boots. Something wrong? Well, let me try it. Oh, it it burns so bad. Let's see. Yes. Monkeys. I seem to have a strong connection with monkeys. You do? Yes. I was rescued by a monkey after all. You don't believe me, do you? When I was young, I stood alone in the aftermath of a battlefield. I was alone and staring, dumb. Neither cry, nor even get angry. Complete shock. And then there was a monkey, eating a rice ball. A monkey? Maybe an ape? Maybe. Either way, he made it look so delicious. I remember being angry at that. But then... Then he gave me the rice ball. It tasted so good. What a kind monkey. <laughs> yes. He was a very kind monkey. Well, that monkey is familiar, I promise you. Goodbye. But for now, let's see. Do you have anything new? I never had this and uh, this interaction so to be honest. <laughs> That's quite funny. I must ascertain this. I will tell you. Well, no new dialogue. But I don't want to show the Sakura droplet to you. Let's travel to um, Ashina Castle and Old Grave next since there's an NPC who is about to move and we can talk to him one last time in this area. Well, he 
is right over here. Just drop down. Oh, well, look who it is. Need something? <laughs> right, you know that. Right, so seems like you still are not progressing your dialogue. Well, that's that. Thanks to your patron, enough to make arrangements at least. Thinking I may be leaving soon. Where to? Send Paul Temple up on Mount Comey. There's all sorts of rats around here these days. Got a feeling things are gonna get real ugly real soon. So it's about time I tied up some loose ends. Right, so he's about to move. But seems like I got some business to take care. Of. Take care of yourself. Seems like that's all we can talk to him about right now. So let's move back to Saint Po Temple, and there's Kotaru. He can we can talk to, and there's this NPC who will travel there. So Sempo Temple, Mount Congo. So now let's go ahead and talk to Kotaro first. <laughs> and I can give him the red and white pinwheel or the white pinwheel. So what I'm about to do is actually the bad ending for this NPC. But I want to do it just because this uh let's me upgrade a lot of items on the shop is this what you're looking for uh, that's a red and white flower i'm looking for a pure white flower i see but you you're trying to help thank you you're a good man pure white flower mm. yes it flew away Yes, that's right. The pure white flower flew away. But we can suggest a travel destination and tell him to visit Aniyama the peddler. There's a peddler named Anayama near Ashima Castle looking for help. You should give him a hand. Uh, uh, I mean, if everyone comes back, I won't be here. But I am. All right, I'll do it. I'll go and see. You should. <laughs> you really are a good man. Well, all right. That's it for his quest, at least for now. Let me see if I can get a jumping death blow on you, and I can't. Well. At least I'm still alive, that's what count. And I got an Aqua Sugar, which is actually good. Huh. So you made it out this way too. You? <laughs> like I said, loose ends. What are you doing here? Over there. I need to cross to the other side of the cliff, but I'm fresh out of ideas. There's no way to cross? If you had a Shinobi kite, that'd do it. But it ain't easy keeping a kite afloat. Especially when you're an amateur and you cargo this bear. I see. There's an assassin below the cliff who handles the kites. If he could keep that thing in the air, it'd be risky, but it just might work. The thing is, he won't take a bribe. I ask you, what's the world coming to? You see over there? I'm trying to figure a way to get to the other side. There's this little type below the cliff who flies the kites. <laughs> if he could keep that thing in the air, it'd be risky, but it just might work. Hmm. Give me strength. I just want to get this business seen too. Right, so nothing we can do. But 
for now let's just keep um, moving we will eventually unlock a skill that will help us do exactly what he needs us to do go rest up actually don't rest just move to um well temple grounds right so now this is an item that we can take right here ceramic shards and a couple of koi fishes that we can kill get rid of this one first okay well one down we just have one remaining but I do wanna head back let him spawn up so that I can kill him then and he is right over there we have two more treasure cop skills but now a couple of dogs we need to kill taking care of you and you and you just checking up in case there was an item nearby I hope not well no that's good now we can just keep moving this way no item behind the building good all right so couple more dogs you can kill right here there's a uh, gokan sugar and there should be a couple of monkeys here's one there should be some more um, but I think not here they should jump right around here yep there's one more pretty easy to deal with but now we have a taro troop and another monkey so I do wanna kill the monkey first using stealth kill you and now just wait for the tower troop to reset now that she is back I can just get a death blow on you Mibu spirit balloon another one a persimmon some spirit emblems a heavy coin purse so a lot of loot there and another spirit balloon so lot of loot there but now that this area is done I want to grapple up right here and there should be one more grapple point I think so no grapple point I can jump right here and yeah it doesn't look like it, it seems like uh, I need to go all the way back so 
so this area actually requires you to do a bit of stealth but it's pretty easy so I am not going to use a gachin sugar jump up here and take this guy out okay well, take this guy out and he also does not see me so might as well take this guy out so these are all the major dangers in this area and he lost aggro on me that's really good and I guess that okay that one did not though but pretty easy to deal with and that's it if you wanna make things simpler just use a kachin sugar and you should be able to breeze through this now I want to head over um where was that area though was it this one I think so actually yeah this is the one another Mibu position balloon <laughs> and a couple of grapples and now we are back to square one so this area definitely wants you to use the gachin sugar since this can be quite a bit tricky if you don't do it carefully enough so wait for that guy to get to the center then jump and once you get to that corner use a Gachin sugar I wanna stay right here use a gachin sugar right here and I want to get the grapple point take care of this guy first get all the loot there's another guy right around here I don't see him there he is and he's okay he saw me that's too bad Ooh, okay well almost fell down to my death but I don't wanna head this way just yet so can I get back up I can that's great but my Mibu, uh, my Gachin sugar is about to run out. That's bad. Okay, sneak up. Oh no. This is not going good. <laughs> Alright, over here. Don't want him to see me. I just I'll just wait for him to turn around and then use the kachin sugar if I can or maybe he just keeps going that way do you want to turn around at any point and you don't want to it seems like you're following me all the way down so maybe what I can do is get a jumping death blow on you to make things a bit easier scrap iron that's good can say no to the upgrade materials and there should be okay he saw me as long as he's the only one that saw me should be okay 
I do want you to come over this way. And that's it for you. I just have one more remaining. So, should be right over that way. He is about to see me. That's not good. I do wanna rush up. Get a death blow on you. Do you want to come up? Well, maybe not. But I can surely use this time. Okay, he is looking right at me. But now he is focused somewhere else. I can just drop down right here and get the death blow on him. That was good. Now most of the enemies are down, a couple more enemies inside this temple. So what I wanna do is sneak, get over to this way, use blood smoke, get a death down you, use another blood smoke. I fail to get the death down you but well not bad I just need to draw him out okay he grabbed me and now I don't want to take care of you so I'll just grab that and get back I hate these things <laughs> And there should be no more items, I think. Yep, no more items. So yeah, that's all. Now I can safely head up. And we can just head over this way. To take down some more enemies more safely. Um, this this guy. I think I'll just take care of you, just to make things a bit safer. And if we can take this to the rooftop, that would be excellent. You wanna come to the rooftop? I don't think you do. Well, never mind. Okay. I don't have my axe right now. Things are much easier with an axe against these enemies. Oh no. Don't grab me. Oh no, getting a bit hairy there. And I got the death of. Wow, that is great. So, may as well use a pellet to heal up. Switch to my gouging top. Jump right over here, and there is a grapple point which we can grab right there. And sneak up. Get a red blow on you. And that tarot trooper first of all. Since that one is a bit problematic. I will just take care of you now. Right. You wanna take care of you as well. There is another tattoo troop 
we should be right around there and he's looking at us well not at us but at our direction so you want to be stealthy maybe I can kill him without getting his attention would be good that was great a few more enemies down this way there is also an item right around here somewhere maybe well no I think not some monks I do want to sneak up on the monks at least one of them if I can and they turned around that's great Whew, that went smoothly. There's another monk. Failed to get the dead blow, but he's dead. And there should be some wolves down there. But first, get some items from here. This is the way we could have used, like the normal way that we could have taken to get up. Instead, we took a more stealthy approach. And I think this is the area where we took down that black hat. There is an item right here. Some ungo sugar. and i think that should be it for the items well just to be sure let me pop up here once again and yeah seems like we have all the items now so we can head this way but I do want to take down another boss before we move on that way. Just keep heading down. A couple of wolves and some lizards, some geckos that we need to take care of, but they should be no problem at all. And there are the wolves. There's the gecko. Take down as many as you can. I think I took them all down. But I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe I did. That was good. Another Mibu balloon spirit. And here's the last gecko. Got a jumping death blow on you. There's another one. So now I think all the enemies are down. Just to check up real quick. Hopefully I did not miss any. Right, so seems like I did not. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. So for these guys, all you need to do is jump. And you'll get the death blow option. Get over the platforms. Okay, that did some damage, but there should be just one more remaining I think, yeah this one, and after that we have to take care of the boss, so get a death blow on you.
to a jump. And here's the first death blow. Just need another one. To the jump. And this should be it. So pretty easy all you need to do is keep hitting deflect 10 times and in case you see the dead um, kanji you just need to jump and that should be our third prayer bead I think we have a black and powder right here another black and powder it's a lot of upgrade materials and there should be a coin purse Okay, no, a Gokan sugar. Well, that went well. No major troubles. And now we can just move on. And just to make sure, I don't think there is an item on top of that roof but I do want to check up in case there is okay that should be right around here so get right over here This is a very big building so seems like a good spot to hide some loot but seems like there isn't. Well that's good for us we have all the loot now. Good to know. And yep that's about it we have completed this area as well. All we need to do now is head up and keep pushing. Couple of enemies right over here. Uh, there's one. I'm gonna sneak up. If I can maybe jump up here. Yeah, that was good. So wait for him to pass by, then I'll take care of you. That should be good. Get up there. And unfortunately he turned around. But no can nobody's there. We are able to take him down as well some morungo sugar and seems like that is all the items should be another enemy coming up right there get on top of the branch sneak up wait for him to come down and get the death blow quite simple or maybe he turns around that's even better so we can just go over this way get the death blow well if you thought that part was hard wait for this so we have two glaive enemies and one more patrolling glaive enemy phew okay how do I want to deal with this so first of all I do want him to turn around and use a kachin sugar after that get to that jumping slot right there and he has turned around so jump right here use a kachin sugar
and if at all possible get a death blow on one of them and use blood smoke get the death blow on the second one and all we need to do now is wait for him to come around and we can get the death blow on him but I do wanna open this up while he's coming around so that I can activate the idol hopefully he is not quick enough get this idol don't wanna rest because I still need to take care of that one guy should be coming back right around now he actually went back that's good Ooh, that went smoothly <laughs> now we have a bulging coin purse after taking those three down and another gokan sugar before we proceed that way we can head over this way actually I yep not this way we come this way later on but we have a narco sugar we go over this way there should be an enemy right about here pretty easy to deal with some more centipedes one more and there's one more all you need to do is jump and get the jumping death blow pretty easy but instead of going this way I'm gonna head this way since this is a bit safer and we can get a death blow on an enemy who is waiting on us right here get the coin and the black and powder fun fantastic a couple more enemies right around this corner I think yeah so I need to head down and then there should be a couple more centipedes another spirit balloon So there should be one more I think or no that's it we got two more Ako sugar so excellent we will come over here later on this is actually an NPC but he is quite not alive right now but we can head up this way and here is a special item waiting for us Sempo esoteric text so this basically allows you to get the Sempo arts a book of secret that grants the ability to learn Sempo style skills those of the Sempo temple mastered martial arts in the pursuit of virtue they considered strong fist and strict discipline essential against Buddha's enemies However, Sempo Temple was seized by an obsession for the Undying, which corrupted their teachings and style. Now that we have that, we have completed everything in this area. Just to check in case there is any item. There are a couple of gecko geckos right around here. A death on you and another death on you. And that's it. So now we can head back to the original path. We are right back where we picked up the Ako sugar. So 
So a couple of items that you can pick up if you are fast enough. Pellets, always good. Pick this up. Congo sugar. You don't need to mess with these enemies right now. This gate is closed. But we will open it shortly. Get right over here to get lump of fat wax. And there should be some grapple points right around here. So get a grapple. And it should be a dragon blood droplet. Some more items around this corner. We have a bundle Jesus statue. Which I think I have not used any. But that is actually good. Don't want to waste any bundle Jesus statue unless absolutely necessary. Right, so... Um, I don't think I need to rest. I still have... Yeah, I think I'm good to go into the boss battle. I don't know now. So just inspect. I love this boss battle, but I have never got good at it. <laughs> well, we have the elusive hall bell. A five prong bell made of aged bronze can be used repeatedly when rung monkeys and wolves alike are returned to their initial states. However, a monkey caught in the folding screen will not escape whether the bell is rung or not that is pretty good in case we mess up we can ring this and get a dead blow on uh, uh, get a reset on the remaining monkeys but for now just turn around there should be a monkey right about here get the dead blow maybe well I missed that but this one is down so he turned around which means one of them is down and I can get right around here and if I was fast enough I could have gotten the death blow on him but I wasn't fast enough unfortunately and he just went over that way instead what I can do is basically go up there since there's one sitting right over there I think or maybe he comes over there well let me okay I missed him I think but these monkeys will be basically defending them and if they hit you they basically do terror damage right so where are you
As I said, I never got good at this boss battle. I absolutely suck at this. Well, I see his footprints and looks like he went this way. Did he? But before I head into head in to take him down, let me open a open up a couple of traps just to make things easier. So we can head into this room and open this door. Okay, well, um, now the lights are out in case one of the monkeys makes his way down. He will actually be trapped right over here. But let's see if someone, one of the monkeys makes his way down here though. There are a couple of traps that you can use to get the monkeys quickly but it's easier to just try to get them while you can and I miss that maybe well I'm just gonna rush them yes there's the mark for that one and he should be right over here I think I don't see him well okay I think I did mess up there is one of the monkey right there I cannot get a death blow on him okay, there should be one right there yep to see you and you should be the one who is basically blind so took care of you two are down and that means basically the illusions are going to be a bit more dangerous now so as long uh, as many as you kill the illusions um, basically there are more illusions so let me try to reset that actually the item should be right around here somewhere there it is so use this there's the monkey who can basically see you hear you I think if you are quick enough it's very easy to deal with them And I think he already got away. That's bad. Maybe not. Oh no. I did mess up though. Okay. I'm gonna catch you though somehow. If I can. Okay. That was a that was close but screwed up. Um, he's right over the here. Think he jumped down this way. Where did he go? Kill these guys if you can, since see that terror damage that is quite dangerous. and they do drop some items so that's good 
one of them is making the sound and where is he though he is over there okay he saw me where are you Where are you? Okay, <laughs> well, not going good. Here he is. He following him. Jump around a bunch of times. You will eventually get to him. And I missed him again. Wow. Was right over there. I don't see him now. But these guys are following me. I took care of the one who was right inside this room. Okay, that was not good. Reset me back. Let me use my bill, I guess. absolutely hate the terror but do want to get as much health as I can maybe some items they're dropping a lot of pellets oh I used a healing well and for healing gold actually unfortunately but mm, that was not good okay Wow, why did I miss that? How did I miss that? Wow, not good, not good. Kill that monkey. Come on. Come on. Why are you being so evasive right now? There should be one right here. There he is. Is this one? Only one remaining now. And this is a bit of a pain. Where is he? Um... Is he in here? Yes. Okay, missed him. I think I can ring the bell. He's not the monkey you can. Oh no, didn't want to get over there. I want to get right here. Take care of you, come on. Now you are being so... Okay, where are you? Right over there? Oh no, that's just these guys if I can just get down like this He'll actually go that way. So what I can do is 
get over this way to maybe taking down using stealth well worth a try since I am sucking at it so bad wow that work I don't believe it <laughs> and the screen monkeys are down wow that took quite a while And now, screen monkeys, the folding screen monkeys guarded the hall of illusions and befriended the divine child of rejuvenation. Ninjutsu technique, so we have the puppeteer ninjutsu which we actually needed. A puppet moves on behalf of its master but its strings are destined to snap. But before we talk to the divine child let's activate this and get my attack power up because why not a battle memory uh, the halls of illusion lie on the threshold between life and death departed souls of the divine children drift and sway taking shelter in the monkeys of the temple such is why the Divine Child of Rejuvenation speaks of them as friends. So at this point I think this is a good point to drop off. And why is Sekiro all bloodied up? If you see his face if I can just zoom in somehow. This looks like a good angle. Look at that. <laughs> oh, all bloodied up. But well, Sekiro has to go now, so I'll see you all next time. I'll see you all next time.